and teacher Joanne. Today, I want to show you how you could create a countdown timer with sound effect in Microsoft PowerPoint so you could create something that looks like this. By the way guys, this is my first ever tutorial video here in YouTube. Marami pa akong naiisip na gawang tutorial. I hope magkaroon ako ng time na gumawa. Now, let us start by deleting this slide. Then open a blank slide. Okay. Then, click this para may guide tayo sa pagawa. First, let us fill our background with color black. Now, we need to create a round shape. Okay. So let's adjust the color, I mean the size. Let's make it 17. Align center, align in the middle. Now let me change the color. Okay, so like that, and then remove the shape outline, so no outline. Then let's duplicate it by typing Control D. Let's make it smaller. How about make it, uh, yeah, fifteen point five. Change the color. How about this? Alright. And then align center, align middle. Okay. Now go to animations tab. Choose wheel. Now you can see our circles has now countdown animation. Now we need to adjust some settings. Go to animation pane. This one. Then click effect options. Go to timing and set start to with with previews. Set the duration to one second. Then five since five second timer and that going at in. Then click OK. Yeah. A square. Okay, type 5, and color, and feel, and then enlarge from 5. How about making it um, 300? Then Okay, so let us remove the shape outline. No outline. Then align at the center. Alright, align center, align middle. Now let us copy this by clicking Ctrl D.
then we will change this to four three two one zero now we will select five go to animations tab choose we're going to find disappear choose disappear and then go to timing this in here this is the timing and then set start to with previous and then set delay to one second select the next number which is four go to animation and stab again and then choose appear go to timing set start to with previews click on add animation and then choose disappear set start to with previews and then set delay to two seconds now select three go to animation tab choose appear go to timing and set start to read previous click on add animation choose disappear set start to with previous and set delay with 3 seconds you will also do the same to the other numbers okay. here with previous add animation disappear with previous set this to 4 seconds and then click 1 appear with previous add animation disappear with previous five seconds and finally select zero go to animation tab again appear timing and then read previous put them one on another format let us align center align middle same thing with three align center or middle we have to make sure that everything is in center so we have to click this align center and align middle one by one all right Let's see how it looks. There you go. Now let us put sound effect to our timer. Let's open the animation pane. Select over one and click effect options all right let's put sound uh, let us choose chime this one click ok for number four will be the same click effect options 
sound chime okay and effect options chime okay and repeat the process and the two effect options Number two. Are we done with number two? Like options number two. Okay. We're done with number two. Number one. For zero, since it it means times up. Um, let's choose a different sound. How about how about this one? Voltage. Click OK. All right. Let's see. If this video helped you learn how to create your very own timer, please give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, hit that subscribe button. That way, you'll get a notification every time a content like this comes out. And lastly, if you want to have a PowerPoint copy of the timer that we've made, just comment your email address below, then I'll send you a copy. Alright, hope to see you next time. Bye!